Welcome to an Xmedia's tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss inbound routing to MFPs. For any user, one of the easiest ways to print a fax page is simply select the job from either the inbound history or the outbound history, and then select download. Once downloaded locally, any of the normal print functions are available, including choosing a local printer and simply printing. By doing so, pages are available only when the user would like to have them available. Another way to do this is to forward a fax to a particular destination. And depending on how things are set up, this could be a project folder, a printer destination, or even another user or distribution list. Next, we'll explore how to use the incoming routing table to print automatically to an MFP. To start, we'll select XM Fax from the main menu, then Settings, and then we'll take a look at the incoming routing table. We'll need to configure a rule. We'll select Add and add a direct rule. The association we need to create is matching an inbound DID or fax number with a printer destination. Printer destinations are created in the notifications destination area on the left, and we'll start by selecting printer. Once selected, we can add a printer. We'll select add, and there are choices for different ways that we can map to a printer. There are SMTP or POP3, HPE print, Xerox mobile print, and even Google Cloud print. For this example, we're going to use SMTP, or commonly also called POP3. I'll enter a display name, My New Printer, and I need to include the destination address for my printer. Now, different printers are set up differently, so refer to your specific printer manufacturer for these details. But assuming that my printer has a mailbox, I'll enter in the specific email address for that printer. In this case, I'm using printer email at mydomain.com. I also want to associate incoming mail with an authenticated user. So I can select use the following address and enter in an authenticated user at mydomain.com. Other features are determining what the attachment file type will be like. PDF is very common. And for a handy tip, it's good to set it to legal or letter best fit and then select OK. Now that our destination is configured, we may return to the incoming routing table and add a direct rule. We'll select Add and add a direct rule. We'll match to our inbound fax number. I'll type in plus one and my fax number. Remember to include plus one and all 10 digits of your fax number. Then we need to add our printer destination. I'll select Add and we'll search for our printer destination. I'll select Printer and Search. And we can see in the list returned that our printer is available as My New Printer. We'll make that selection and we'll add that to our list, select OK, and our rule is complete. Testing can be accomplished by copying the number into the test routing table and pasting the value into the DID field. Then select Test. As we see here, two results are returned. Earlier, we configured an email distribution list, and then we just added My New Printer. Additional information may be found in the Help menu by accessing the XM Fax Administrator Guide. This is a searchable database, so you can type something like cloud print, and we can see from the results returned, configuring a printer destination is available. Thank you for watching, and as always, additional information is available at xmedias.com.